Hey y'all, welcome back to Bear at Your Cow's YouTube page. Today I'm gonna show you how to make some sugar-free brownies. I am so excited to share with you guys because they taste absolutely incredible and are super light. I am so excited, so let's get into it. So we're gonna be making some brownies today. This is the Good D's chocolate brownie mix, and it is super easy. As you can see, there's not many ingredients here that we need. Um, the stats on this are pretty great. So the serving size is 12. There's 30 calories, one and a half grams of fat, 14 carbs, zero sugar, one gram of protein. So very, very light compared to some other brands out there. So I'm excited to mix these up and try them out. So there are two options when you make these brownies. You can make them more like a cake, uh, like a cake-like brownie, or you can make them more of like a fudge-like brownie. I am gonna go for the fudge-like brownies. So I will need two eggs and a half a cup of melted butter. Um, for the cake one, you'll need three eggs and one fourth of a cup of butter or coconut oil. So that's pretty cool. I don't have any coconut oil on me, but if I did, I would totally uh, swap out the butter for that. Um, just because it's healthier. All right, so I'm just gonna pour the mix into a bowl. And then I'm gonna crack those two eggs. And then I'm just going to stir in this butter um, like I said, it needs to be melted butter, so you need to make sure that consistency is right before you mix it all up. And let's mix it. That is the consistency you are looking for if you're making more of the fudge type brownie. Oh my God, look at that, it looks so good. Um, I love how easy this recipe is. It literally just calls for butter and eggs, or like I said, coconut oil, and the mix, and then you've got some awesome brownies. So, super excited that it takes just a couple of things to make these, and I don't have to like sit here and like add 100 different ingredients in. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray the pan with a little bit of pan, just so we don't have any brownies sticking to the glass. And then we are just going to pour the batter into this glass container. All right, once all that is in there, you just need to smooth it out a little bit just so it's even into the glass container. All right, and once you have the baking pan ready to go, you're just gonna go ahead and pop it in the oven at 350 degrees. And if you're looking for those fudge-like brownies, you need to bake them between 22 and 27 minutes. But if you're making more of the cake-like consistency, it just needs to be in there for 20 to 25 minutes. So let's go ahead and put this bad boy in the oven. All right, so this is what it looks like when you bring it out of the oven. It looks super tasty, it smells super tasty, and I'm excited to try it. So we're gonna let it cool off for a little bit and then we will give it a shot. All right, and it's time for the taste test. I am super excited. I have it on a plate and I'm gonna use a spoon because it is extra fudgy <laughs> and it's a little messy. So I wanted to just try it with a spoon. So here we go. Oh my God, that is incredible. <laughs> this is so, so good. Oh my God, a hot. This is so good. It tastes like any other brownie. Any other brownie, but it doesn't have all the junk in it. Y'all, this is a sugar-free brownie and it tastes absolutely incredible. If you have not tried this brand, I highly, highly recommend it. This is Good D's. You can find it on Bariatric Powell's website. This is such a good brand. I've made pancakes by them. It is incredible. Um, these brownies are absolutely delicious. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching me make these brownies and go give them a shot. I promise you, you're gonna love them. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time.